Hi, I'm Gareth Pronovost, and I help people get the maximum value possible out of Airtable. In this video, I'm going to be showing you an important concept in Airtable, although maybe a bit uh, elementary and for beginners, if you have no experience working in databases, this is an important step that you need to master. Essentially, we're going to be talking about how to link tables together. And there are three different types of uh, relationships that we need to have an understanding of. So without further ado, let's jump into Airtable and take a look at how we can build those. Welcome to Entrepreneurship by the Numbers, where we help unlock the potential of your business with data-driven metrics. All right, so jumping into Airtable here, I have uh, an invoice template that I'm going to be using for this example. So the three different types of um, relationships that we can build in any database are as follows. There's a one-to-one -one relationship, which is one piece of data linking only to one other piece of data. And these two pieces uh, speak to each other every time. There is a one-to-many relationship, and then there's a many-to-many -many relationship. Now the trick to knowing which one to use is really just to think about the logic that you need to build uh, into whatever process or whatever data collection you are uh, creating. So in the case here of this invoice, uh, t this invoice table, we would have the actual table that produces our invoices and total dues. And we have our uh, customer information here. And then on a third table, we list out the different services that we have. So in this case, we would need to link the information on the invoices to an actual customer, and we also would need to link it to an actual service. So here, these fields are currently just single line text fields, which if we go to the customize, we see that they are single line text, but what we really want is to link it to another database. So we do that by changing the type here to a link to another record. When we select this, we're going to get a choice of different tables. In this case, we're going to want to link customers. And now we have to decide, are we building a one-to-many or is this a many-to-many -many relationship? So we sit back and we have to think about the logic. In this case, uh, every single invoice will have a single uh, customer. However, customers may have multiple invoices. So this is a one-to-many relationship. If we said allow linking to multiple records, that would mean that we would be, we could put multiple customers on one invoice. Generally speaking, that's not how invoices work. So we will get rid of that and we want it to only link to a single record every time. We will save this. And because I already had the customer names in here in the form of text, it is automatically linking to them. And we can see that by clicking through. We can come in here and see all of the customer information that is linked along with that customer. Great, so that is the first one. That's a one-to-many relationship. The next one we're going to be building is a many-to-many -many relationship in the form of services. So services are different. On an invoice, we're going to want to list every service that we are providing or have provided for that particular invoice. And in this case, if we go to our services, we'll see that we have these two services that we offer. So we can go ahead and customize the field type here. Again, we're changing it from single line text, and we're gonna change it to a link, and of course, services. Now this time, again, we have to ask ourselves, is this a many-to-many -many or a one-to-many? And the truth is, we can have multiple services on each invoice, and so we will want to keep this as a multiple records. And you see now that we've saved it as such, it is now linking appropriately. We can click in and see the different information related to that particular service. Great. So this is how you create a link when you have tables that already exist. But if we wanted to create a new link, what we would do is create a new field. And just for the, uh, for the sake of this example, we would select a link to another record. We don't have to have the table built already and we can select create a new table from here. And then we can uh, just change the name for this new table and we can allow linking to multiple records or not. Go ahead and save the, just the default in here just to show you an example. And now this table has already been created and we can come in here and add new records as we see fit. 
as we add those new records and create them, they will automatically link to where we are telling them to connect. Okay, so now that we have an understanding of how to connect data tables, there is uh, one further step that we might want to uh, have on our functionality within our databases, and that is we might want to pull data from a table and bring it to another table. And we can do that with a lookup field. So let's suppose that in, well, let me, let me back out here. Let's take a look at the customer and let's say we wanted to know what city these customers were in and, uh, and we wanted that information to you know, go into our invoice table. We could do that by adding this new table here and we're gonna go to customize and we could say we want to uh, pull in the city name And we come down here and we do a uh, lookup. So we can start typing L and here we are, the lookup. And it's going to tell you to choose a field in the table. So we have to tell it, are we looking for data that's already existing in the services or is it data that lists or that lives in the customer table? In this case, it's the name of the customer, the city name of the customer. And now we have to choose the field. So it's gonna give us a list of all the fields that appear on uh, inside this customer table. And we want that city. And we hit save. And we see that it's pulling in all of those proper city names. Hope that helped clear up any confusion you might have had around linking tables to one another. If you like this kind of content and want to see more, be sure to click subscribe. I release a new video once a week. And uh, in the meantime, if you have any questions, I will include a link to uh, schedule a free consultation in the notes below. Best of luck as you continue to grow your empire.